Hello what's up everyone my name is Adin Thomas and welcome to another video on my channel today's video is going to be super interesting guys because today's video I'll be showing us how you can double the speed of your laptop very easily okay actually I have seen a lot of videos in internet about doubling the speed of your laptop by installing a bunch of softwares and even some of the softwares are even paid and changing some settings actually it didn't work for me I have tried some of them and it is completely fake because instead of making your laptop faster it makes a stress on your laptop and makes your computer slower by the day so how can actually double the speed of your laptop is by doing some adjustments with the hardware stuff and also optimizing your windows software so for this purpose you don't need any kind of software if you're not using any kind of external software for this you'll be only using the pc and also we'll be doing some things with the hardware so without wasting any more time let's get started Guys, for today's video, I'll be using my Dell Inspiron 1545, which has been upgraded. And okay, talking about how to double the speed of your laptop, we'll be changing today's video into four segments. First one will be cleaning up all the dust inside it. Second one will be we'll be fixing the thermal issues. Third one will be fixing all, all the software errors. And fourth one will be we'll be optimizing the PC. So for this, I will be taking this laptop. Okay, and what you have to do is. First, we'll be cleaning up the dust inside the PC. For that, just remove the battery first, safety first battery and also remove the cable from the laptop. And how you have to remove these screws from this back panel and remove this thing separately. Okay, for you guys may be different, you have to figure a way out for that. This is the Dellins Prone, okay. So, I'll be removing these four screws holding the back panel. Okay guys, now after removing all the screws, you can just separate it back panel by removing it like this. Yeah, you can see you can just remove it like this. And also be careful while handling with this stuff because these things are more fragile and you have to make sure nothing breaks while doing this. So really be careful guys, okay. And after that you can just remove this screw also from here. And after removing it, take this screw out. And now you can remove this CD-ROM drive out. And after that, you have to come here and you can remove the hard drive from this thing. Just remove the two screws holding the hard drive. Okay, after that, you can just slide this hard drive out and you can see it's from Toshiba and yeah after that you have to remove these two RAM sticks okay so now my PC is looking very clean because I have already removed it previously okay guys now my PC is looking very much cleaner because I have already removed I have cleaned everything the last month itself so not much of a problem Okay, before removing the RAM, you need to make sure that you just clip it up like this. The RAM will be clipped like this. And you can just remove this, slide these two levers right here. And after that, you can just take it out. It's very simple. Okay, guys, after that, you can see you will be seeing some dust kind of things. So you need to change that. Okay, also, I have here, I have two this Wi Fi driver. So just detach the wires like this. Okay, very careful while handling with these things and after that we have to remove this heat sink means i am i am having a copper cooling system for you it may be only a fan or maybe some kind of other things okay for now this you can just remove this by removing this screw here Guys, after removing those screws, you can separate this heat sink from here. Also, before that, make sure that this wire from Wi Fi is kind of smooth and be secured. And you can just remove this heat sink from here very easily. You need to be very careful while removing these things. Okay. Yes, 
I can make from this. And yeah, it's coming apart. And you can see here the heat sink comes apart like this and just place it in a safe position. And after that, you can see this is the heat sink, and you can see here. You can see some dust in here. I have told I have already opened this thing the previous month only. Uh, I was opening this thing in the previous month. I have got to see a lot of dust means crazy shit. Dust. Okay. Now you can see here is the processor. And this is the processor and this is the wear amps. So you can see the thermal paste on top of it. So you need to make sure that this thermal paste is intact. Okay, now what do you do? then we want to do is clean up all the dust here with the rams and all those things just take a cloth dry cloth and wipe everything up okay you need to be very careful with all those things okay see the drive and yeah and you need to even clean this cooling system okay, for many of you guys you will have the access to the fans on here but actually now I can't have the access to my fan because on this particular laptop I can't have access so that you just need to blow an air through here so that all those tests will be coming apart here so you can just wipe it off and make it kind of comfortable okay now we'll be talking about this heat problem heating problem yeah for that you just need to remove your processor very careful with the processor is very kind of expensive thing and you can see this is the processor out here this is the processor and you can see on top here thermal paste you need to make sure that the thermal paste is intact not much harder or if it is worn off then you have to change it you can buy it from the shop and paste it like this okay this is the processor out there you need to clean this up after that your thermal tissue will be solved also you need to make sure that the thermal paste is on the both rear amps right there and after that just place it gently just drop your processor on top of this place and tighten up the screw on below okay also make sure that you don't tighten it too much okay and after that you just need to place all the things back you can see here the thermal paste on here and here actually mine is gone off and yeah maybe i can i need to change it you can directly go to the shop and change it out if you want it okay we'll be putting everything back in place this is what you need to do in this hardware stuff and after I'll be coming to the software thing, so so see you guys after setting it up. Guys, now the heat sink is in place, and you can see here it, I have put it very carefully and tighten all the screws. Also, be very careful, guys. It's not joke, okay? And now after that, you have to fix this Wi-Fi antenna cable to here, and just need to gently place it this wires on top and just push it and to lock it in place after you can just go everything else okay as i told you guys you need to change the thermal paste if you are using your laptop for a lot of time and also need to pull up all the dust out from them there it's surely going to make some difference guys and after that you have to insert your ram in back in place okay for inserting the ram just need to insert the first ram slot will be right here just push it and yeah just very simple and after that the second ramp slot just push it and push it back in okay guys it's not locked in place you have to make sure that it is completely locked in place just push it and after that drop it yeah now it's in place and after that you can just put back this plate on top okay for you guys maybe there will be a hard drive inside it for me it is outside so i'm placing this thing right now tighten all the screws up then you have to place your cd-rom drive back in place 
just push it and tighten it with the screw provided here ok guys now the CD-ROM is also in the right place and after that you have to put the hard drive back in ok for you it may be different so you have to figure a way out also I told you guys that if you have bought a new laptop you don't need to do any of these things ok if you have been using for a long time and that is built up in it then also you have to do that you just slide it in like this and after that put these two screws on here and now it's time for the placing of the battery back in place just slide it like this and everything is done now our laptop is set to go so now let's see you guys in the laptop screen okay guys now i have successfully put it up into my pc screen laptop, sc laptop screen and you can see here for now the only two things left is checking the errors and solving it and after that i will be optimizing the, in the pc okay so first for checking the errors okay first thing you need to go to this pc and after that right click on the drive where you have installed the windows ok mine is local disk c right click on it go to properties and after that you can go to the tools option right here ok before that if you want to free up some space you can click on this cleanup means it's not going to delete all those things that you wanted actually it's going to delete all those things that is unnecessary for you and you can see here some of them are selected you can select and uncheck if you want that file then click on clean up system files okay, i have already cleaned it so cleaning ag again and after go to go to tools option and you can see here an option for error checking this option will check the drive for file system errors and you can just check click on here and check it and after checking it if you want to resolve it then you can resolve it from there itself and on below you can see an option for optimizing your computer drives can help it run more efficiently okay just click on this optimize option and after such a pop-up window opens and after that you can go here and click on every drive first i will click on c and click on optimize and you can see analyzing zero percentage it will take some time you need to do it with everything all the drive disk okay second disk analyzing third disk and that is my usb drive okay that doesn't matter okay three drives are analyzing right now and the d drive has completed and it is passed and after that if there is any problem you can click on optimize here and there will be option for optimizing that you can just click on that one it will be fine okay now the two things left is deleting unwanted files from your device okay for that you have to come here and click on this windows option right click on it and go to the run option and search your temp files and click on search now for that you can see in such an window opens for me it is not showing anything because i have cleaned it today itself so you can see here temp file you you will have a lot of files here what you have to do is just click select all of them and delete it because it's unwanted files you don't need to worry about okay it's very really fine and some of them won't get deleted so just leave it and now now after that come again click on the run option and after that click on select search percentage temp percentage search it okay you will see some more files like this here also just select all of them right click and click on delete and some of them won't get deleted so click on skip and yeah done okay now you will see a little bit improvement in the performance of the pc for sure because i had tried this one and it's it's worth it guys okay so also one thing i'm going to tell is while handling with this hardware stuff you need to be very careful don't try don't break anything because hardware stuffs are very expensive so try to be more efficient and take your time while doing it and also finally it's worth it guys because also i want to tell that if people who bought new laptops don't want to do anything with the hardware they can just optimize your pc checkers and other things you can do these things out it will help you guys in your performance so 
that's pretty much all in today's video. I hope you guys like this video. If you are new to my channel, then please make sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you guys won't miss a beep. If you like this video, hit the like button. I'll be back with an another interesting video. Till then, peace out. Just a new one.